Hey YouTube, this video I'm going to bring you guys along. Uh, I have a winch that I'm going to be putting on the front of my John Deere Gator 825i. Uh, originally I had bought, uh, I think, a Badland um, winch. I didn't really like how the mounting bracket was on the front, so I ended up taking that back and I ended up getting a Champion one. And uh, this video I'll show you how I installed it, uh, what it takes to basically uh, kind of take apart the the gator what things you need to take apart how to run the wires and everything and um, But yeah, so come along with me. Uh, I'll show you uh... So this is uh, what I ended up getting I ended up getting a, a champion uh, 2,000 pound winch um, Basically the only difference from the other one that it had was uh, the other one did not have the mounting bracket which this one does and it also had a wireless remote which uh, probably would have came in handy but this one does not but uh, I'll be able to mount that right inside the uh, the cab here but uh, yeah what came with it uh, you got your winch um, your hook on the very front for your cable your wiring harness with your uh, um, controls you've got your um, your free spool uh, it just that's a guide for your wire and then your mounting bracket um, the only difference between this one and the other one like I said was the mounting bracket it didn't come with one and then whenever I went back to the store to find it they didn't have it so I ended up having to go with this which is no big deal um, also with this winch it has a, uh, a free uh, spool clutch on this side uh, you'll be able to pull that out uh, turn it and then you'll be able to by hand just pull out the uh, the cable to get wherever you need to be and hook it up and then you can uh, uh, bring it back in with your the power uh, here's the instructions I'll take a look at that look at the wire and harness how it's supposed to be ran which is pretty simple just go straight over to your battery and hook up and then we'll have to mount this somewhere inside this is uh an aftermarket windshield it's not the like the original it's not really the heavy duty one it's actually really light um, it just has four of these uh, little brackets that hold it on and then it just slips right underneath After you get the windshield off uh, your front bar there's two little pins they pop out slides forward and uh, that enables your your hood to come all the way up there's this plastic guard right inside it's a little dirty but it comes right out that can go off to the side let's come over here to the passenger side um, the seat just lifts right up. And right underneath it is the battery access. Um, and then we can run our wires right up underneath here next to the shifter, the emergency brake, emergency brake and the def. Uh, this is just a little plastic uh, guard. It actually has, you can see her up under here, uh, the wire. There's a basically a wire tray underneath that that this is all hiding and then obviously you got some nice compartments and uh, um, cup holders and everything so I'm gonna get that out and uh, that way we have straight access to wire it up and then you have access to the whole front which uh, we'll find a way to be able to run those wires straight down and uh, I'll show you where they they pop out at yeah my rigs a little dirty it needs to be cleaned up a little bit uh, 
I actually bought this thing not too long ago from an auction and it was pretty filthy. I just haven't had the time to uh, clean it up yet. But uh, we'll get there. So this kit came with a little mounting bracket. Uh, I've got this bar on my, uh, basically the glove box. And uh, it was able to go around that bar. I got it tightened up and what I think I'm gonna do, there's a hole down in there in the bottom of the glove box. I'm gonna run the wires down through the glove box, down through that hole. And then I'll be able to go through this little cable tray and over to the battery. And then the other ones will be able to let go up front to the winch itself. So I'm gonna work on trying to get that done. And uh, yeah, we'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so that worked out pretty good. Uh, like I said, I drilled a little bit bigger of a hole down there, ran the wires down. I'll clean these wires up through this little tray a little later uh, with some zip ties uh, to the other ones. And it comes up to the battery, which I'm not going to connect yet. Um, and then the other batteries that go to the winch, went up through the front let's bring it up here up through the front up through here uh trying making sure i wasn't getting in anything that was hot or anything that rotates and then popped it out up front <clears throat> ended up making another little hole here and a uh that was so i didn't have to run wires all the way around i think that would have looked worse than doing that which you won't ever see that anyways so now that I have the wires ran, I'm going to bring the winch up and connect the wires to it and then uh, mount the mounting bracket to it. All right, now that the wires are on, uh, I've got this mounting bracket that goes up underneath it <clears throat> and then the two bolts that go down and uh, mounts everything to uh, this mounting plate that was already on the, the gator before. This is what I was talking about. Uh, it just sits better uh, and it looks a little better. so. I'm going to get the bolts on here and attach the mounting plate, the winch, to the gator itself. All right, so we got it mounted on there. Uh, now what we have to do is hook up this, uh, this guide. Um, it's got a couple bolts. It just goes right through there. Cable comes through here, and then your hook uh, gets hooked onto your cable. You can pull on this... Uh, uh, Free spool on this side. Let's see. I think you pull and twist, maybe. You just pull out, and the cable just comes. You just pull out of it, and the cable just you can uh, free pull the cable, and then it should just go right back in, and locks back in place to where you you can't pull it any anymore. So I'm just going to put that through there, and it comes with the smaller bolts. I'll put those on the front. All right, I can put this uh, this hook onto the front of the cable. It just has like a little little cotter pin here that you just pull out, and then this pin comes out, and then it just goes right through the eyelet. All right, now that's what's left is uh, hooking it up to the battery, uh, positive, negative, and putting everything back together. And then we can uh, go test it out. We'll go pull something with it. All right, we got the winch on the front and uh, let's go see if we can't find something to hook up onto and, and pull it around just to see how it works. But I think I got a package on the front porch that we could probably take a look at today too, and uh, that goes to the gator as well. All right, this showed up in the mail today. This is a Titan attachment. I'll show you more whenever we open it up. We'll debox it, put it together, and I'll show you what it is. Uh, that new project that we'll be working on over at Dad's is gonna require us to run a lot of wire. And so instead of doing it by hand like we have been doing, 
Uh, we got this attachment that goes on the gator. It goes into the resitch. You put a spool of bald wire on there and you just drive and it just goes along with you and unwires it. It's pretty, it's gonna be pretty uh, handy. And uh, here in a little bit, let's go test out this winch and then we'll go open that box and call it a day. They're telling me that they want some food. They keep mooing at me. Uh, this is kind of uh, weak for how much this winch can pull, but I'm just going to give it a try. I'm going to wrap around cut some of those boards and then uh, just pull it to the gator. We'll see how it works. I'm going to pull on that uh, free spool, pull that out, and I'll be able to pull the, uh, the cord all the way out, wrap it around one of those. It's technically, you're supposed to uh, use a strap and not go around with the cable, but I'm going to do it with, that, with the cable anyways. Yeah, so that free spool, it pulls out and twists. That way you should be able to just to grab a hold of it and pull it wherever you want. See what happens. It would help if you go the right way. Uh, push the right buttons. It'll do the right thing. That'll work. Um, I think the wireless remote would really come in handy in, in some uh, occasions like this, but uh, eh, for what we're going to use it for, just pulling logs or pulling boards like this or uh, miscellaneous stuff, we're not going to use anything too heavy with it, but this will work for what we need to do. I'm going to get this unhooked and then we'll go back to the garage, un uh, unbox that box and show you how that thing works. Alright, let's open this box and I'll show you what we got. This is, uh, this is going to come in handy, like I said, we've got a lot of wire to run over there, and uh, we've been doing a lot of it by hand, or oh, we made made something to go in the back of the tractor, which works, but uh, this is more user friendly, a lot less headache, hopefully, but we'll see. Alright, no assembly acquired, that's how I like it. So this is what it is that just goes in your reese hitch in the very back i'll set it up here in a second this is adjustable height to where you can set it to where you want and then you could pull these pins here and pull this bar out i'm assuming and stick your uh your uh wheel of wire in there not sure how that works because there's two plates on either side uh okay well yeah, so this bar actually pulls apart. It uh, is two different bars. Uh, one slides into another. That way you can pull it off of uh, its bracket up front and being able to slide in between um, or right in the middle of that spool. And uh, yeah, so like I was saying, it goes right into the resitch. There's the winch that we put on today. Um, I have a resitch in the back of the gator and in the front. Uh, just for this, I just put it in the front, but it should be able to go in the back as well. Uh, goes in with a pin, comes up. The height that the, is adjustable, and um, so you know, I don't really know why you would have to adjust the height. Uh, I guess I don't know, but you have that ability. Uh, you've got these two pins here that you can pull out and uh, take your bar out, which I think this needs to be on this side. Or else you can actually just pull that and the whole spool would drop off. Alright, so we were able to get the winch on. Everything works alright on it. And uh, we had a surprise package show up. We ended up getting our attachment for our barbed wire 
uh, on Winder, it uh, it works pretty good. All, both of them do. So I'm pretty happy. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully somebody uh, it was in need of watching this or uh, just enjoy watching these things and, and learn something from it. So uh, anyways, uh, I hope if you guys did like this video, please put a, a thumbs up. Please subscribe to this video or to my channel actually. Uh, make sure you hit that subscri subscribe button and the bell button also so anytime I put a new video up you get a notification. Anyways, I really appreciate you guys watching. Until next time, thanks.